This is a recording of our playbook. Download it from our website. Welcome to our whiteboard drawing. Day 2, CUCM, CUC, IM&P, and UCCX cluster installations, installation finalization. This drawing describes the final tasks of our installation day. Let's start with a quick overview and review. Here are the tasks for our Cisco collaboration, cluster installation and integration. On installation day, a literal day, we install our CUCM, CUC, IM&P, and UCCX clusters. Deploy all of the VMs from OVAs and attach the installation media. Install our CUCM, CUC, IM&P, and UCCX publishers. Install our CUCM, CUC, IM&P, and UCCX subscribers. Activate the services we need in the CUCM cluster when we install the IM&P and UCCX subscribers. Integrate IM&P and UCCX with CUCM when we install the IM&P and UCCX subscribers. Configure DRS for all four applications. Integrate CUCM and CUC with ELM. And do some final tasks, like upgrade VMware tools and configure virtual machine startup and shutdown. Everything is installed. The IM&P and UCCX clusters are integrated with the CUCM cluster. DRS is configured and ELM is integrated with CUCM and CUC. These tasks finish the installation. Run UCCX Replication Wizard, validate subscriber installations, virtual machine startup shutdown, upgrade VMware tools, and validate DRS backup is working. Start at 1545. Finalizing the installation should take less than an hour. This is the Enterprise 20 deployment for CUCM, CUC, IM&P, and UCCX. ELMA is co-resident with CUCM Pub. We'll finalize the installation of the VMs in our environment. We finish with UCCX1A by running the CCX replication wizard on UCCX1A. Web browse to this address. Click Continue to this website. Log in using Collab Admin and your password. Provide values for the replication wizard. Component activation will take a while. System service configuration will also take a while. You may want to skip ahead and configure virtual machine startup shutdown while waiting. Cisco Unified CCX setup will complete and the Cisco Unified CCX engine will restart. Is everything working? We'll do some final checks on things to make sure we're good to go. We'll do UCCX first. We just successfully ran the replication wizard. Web browse to this address. Click continue to this website. Log in again, but this time use UCCX admin and your password. Navigate to system server. You should see that UCCX 1A is now in partial service. In the navigation drop-down box, select Cisco Unified CCX Serviceability and click Go. Log in using UCCX Admin and your password. Navigate to Tools, Control Center, Network Services. We like to see that the publisher can control the subscriber services. In the server drop-down box, select UCCX 1A and click Go. You should see the services running on UCCX 1A. Next, we'll validate replication on the CUCM cluster to make sure everything is good. Access the GUI on CUCM Pub. In the navigation drop down box, select Cisco Unified Reporting and click Go. Navigate to System Reports, Unified CM Database Status. 
Click on the Generate Report icon on the right. Under Unified CM Database Status, validate that the replicate state is good for all nodes in the cluster. If replication is broken, you need to fix it. We recommend a reinstall of the subscriber. We'll also validate replication on the IMP cluster to make sure everything is good. Access the GUI on IMP Pub. In the navigation drop down box, select Cisco Unified IM and Presence Reporting and click Go. Navigate to System Reports, IM and Presence Database Status. Click on the Generate Report icon on the right. Under IM and Presence Database Status, Validate that the replicate state is good for all nodes in the cluster. If replication is broken, you need to fix it. We recommend a reinstall of the subscriber. Finally, we'll have a look at the CUC cluster state. Access the GUI on CUC Pub. In the navigation drop-down box, select Cisco Unity Connection Serviceability and click Go. Navigate to Tools, Cluster Management. We like to see the cluster show up properly. Navigate to Tools, Service Management. We like to see that the publisher can control the subscriber services. In the Server drop-down box, select CUC1A and click Go. You should see the services running on CUC1A. We want our Cisco Collaboration virtual machines to start on their own if there is a data center failure and the host servers reboot. This is important. Access vCenter and select Host Enterprise 20 ESXiA in Inventory. On the Configuration tab, under Software, select Virtual Machine Startup Shutdown. Notice that none of the VMs will automatically start if your server reboots. This is bad. If you don't have vCenter, then access your Enterprise 20 ESXi host directly, and you will see the same thing. Click Properties. Check the box beside Allow Virtual Machines to Start and Stop Automatically with the System. Change the shutdown action to be guest shutdown. Move the VMs up to the automatic startup position with publishers starting first after the 120 second default delay. Select each subscriber in turn and click Edit. Change the startup delay to be 300 seconds to give the publishers time to start first. This is what we want to see for Enterprise 20 ESXiA. And this is what we want to see for Enterprise 20 ESXiB. We'll finish by upgrading VMware tools. Select CUCM Pub in Inventory and the Summary tab. Notice that VMware tools are out of date. Right-click on CUCM Pub and navigate to Guest Install Upgrade VMware Tools. Select the radio button beside Automatic Tools Upgrade and click OK. VMware Tools should update. Do this for all the VMs. Installation day is done! It's a good idea to validate that your scheduled backups are working. You'll have to wait until the backups run to do that. Check the SFTP server for backup files after the scheduled backups begin. Everything is done. We can begin the configuration of the four applications tomorrow. It's the end of the day. Time to go home. Coming up next, Dial Plan Build Overview. Thanks for watching.